Good morning. It is Saturday and I'm in Palm Springs and I've been away for a week. Look a little rough. Uh, it's morning. I literally just woke up. <laughs> so we're going to take a little walk. So I'm here at a business conference. The lighting is going to get crazy. Um, my husband was actually able to come with me for a couple of days. Um, but now um, I'm here for just a few more days so I thought it would be cool to just so, sort of show you like a day in my life uh, traveling and how I stay healthy while I'm traveling so um, the stuff we know is because I literally just woke up I'm going to brush my teeth I'm going to splash a little water on my face and uh, get changed so gotta get that workout in it's now like 6.10, something like that. It's not even light out yet, so it looks kind of crazy. Workout clothes on, huge, huge tip, okay? This is really major. Um, get the workout done first thing in the morning, especially when you're traveling. Don't give yourself the out, because I know at the end of this day, I have a, a meeting basically from like nine to five. Um, there's just gonna be no way that I feel like uh, getting in the workout then I'm gonna want to um, Chill out. I'm gonna want to hang out with my friends. I'm gonna want to do things like that, you know So get it done first thing in the morning. You will thank me later because you did it. So let's pick our workout So I just logged into total body transformation and I want to do one of our newest workouts Which is hit it and quit it. So I'm gonna get my sweat on Whoa, that was major, so my workout is done. And I didn't do a long workout today, which is another great tip for you. You know, you can be flexible in what you do. I also didn't do a full workout, but you can see I'm like sweating like a beast here because I know that I'm gonna take a bike ride with my friends later. And uh, you know, I'm in the desert, so it's really hot and I'm super thirsty, so I thought I'll do about 20 minutes now and then I'll do some more later, some more fun activity. So now, shower time, gotta get cute for this day. In my workout today for Total Body Transformation, I didn't have weights, so I used the two water bottles that were in my room. Now these are the ones that are like really expensive, so I didn't open them because I have water in my room, but they make great hand weights. You're welcome. Just wanted to give you a little sneak peek of this beautiful, beautiful morning view. Look at that light and a palm tree. Kind of can't beat that. So this is from my little balcony, but isn't that just so beautiful? So I'm gonna put on my makeup uh i'm still in the like anti-foundation life which is pretty funny i never thought that that would be the case for me so one thing i always do when i'm in hotel rooms because the lighting is often really weird is i will always do this is you know plunk, plunk myself on my bed or a chair or wherever um, so that i get the natural light coming in so that i can actually see what I'm doing because often it's like you think like oh man I look so good and then you actually check yourself out and you look pretty rough I'm trying to figure out which uh, lip liner I want to use I've got the Rimmel um, in East End Snob which is more pinky or the Charlotte Tilbury in Pillow Talk. I think I'm gonna go more pinky today. I'm all ready for my conference. I'm really excited. It's gonna be a good day, a lot of learning, uh, makeup done. So I, you know, pretty natural, just a little eyeliner. I mean, natural, not really natural, but you know what I mean? Nothing like crazy, nothing super exciting. Use the East End Snob um, on my lips. Outfit, I'm totally rocking some white pants. Um, 
that I love. I got these from Zara and a little, you know, kind of lacy sort of half top. It gets super cold in the conference room, so I'll bring a little cape, a little shawl to kind of put over myself. And uh, yeah, breakfast time now, so let's do it. And I just had to show you my game-changing sunglasses. These are from Kate Spade and they're just like the most fun, the most beautiful, the coolest, like I love these. So I feel like they're very, very appropriate for Palm Springs too, so. So what I'm gonna stick to is, even though I do eat meat, don't judge, um, I'm just gonna stick to some eggs and fruit so that my energy stays, um, and then of course, coffee. So, you know, coffee, decaf, uh, hot water. I'm a big fan of decaf, and throughout the day I'm gonna drink hot water with some lemon. And it's really just all about making the right choices. So I um, am, like I said, I'm gonna stick with just the eggs and the fruit just to keep my energy up. It's not like I wouldn't have like some cereal or you know, pastry or something like that, but not today because it's gonna be a long day. And I got my decaf and yeah, time to dive in. Lunch time, so we're having a little macro bowl. Saskia. Saskia, yummy. So we found this restaurant, Emily. And they serve super healthy, delicious food. So this is what I'm having today to fuel up and be smart for the rest of the day. Mm. Riding bikes, cause it's gorgeous out. I'm going down a hill. <laughs> Just say I'm not a little scared. There's my friends behind me. This is like the best way to clear your head at the end of a long day. Is to do this. Ah, oh, and it's so warm. And it's so beautiful. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Super grateful. day is over. I'm back where I started, sort of, in my bathroom. <laughs> um, I totally forgot to vlog during dinner. Um, I wanted to share that with you. I went out to dinner with my friend and we just got so into conversation that I forgot to vlog it. Um, so I ended up having just a nice chicken dish and I had some green beans and snow peas. It was really, really good. It was like with this like kind of caper and lemon sauce. Um, and just drink water because I'm in the desert and it's freaking <laughs> makes me thirsty here So I'm just drinking a lot of water um, But yeah, you know, it's like really simple things um, a couple things that I just wanted to point out So I started my day with a workout before having this long conference day So if you travel a lot for business, it's definitely a great tip for you Even if you can't get in a full workout, you know, just doing something to set the tone of your day, right? Um, making healthy choices to keep your energy up, right? We know the foods that make us feel sleepy and tired, right? And the ones that make us feel energized and strong, ready to get through the day, okay? Really, really important. Um, drinking a ton of water, right? You don't have to be in the desert to drink a lot of water, but make sure that you're drinking a ton of water. And then, um, you know, I, at the end of the day, after using my brain all day and thinking, you know, strategy and business and all this stuff, um, I went with my friends on a nice little bike ride, right? So it is like just being active, but it also just gives you that change in environment, you know, gives you the fresh air. I know it seems like a, such a like, yeah, duh moment, but it really, really, these tiny little things can make a huge difference. Just creating these rituals, and this is what I want you to hear, these little ritualistic things while you're on vacation, whether it be for business or pleasure, but really the purpose of this is, is more like when it's for business, um, so that you are creating these healthy habits and those healthy habits become a ritual for you, and therefore it just makes it so much easier for you to stay on path and achieve your goals. So that's it, you know, I'm gonna wash my face and uh, I have to get up early tomorrow because there's some work I should have done. But I was having such a good time with my friend Kevin at dinner that I just didn't 
get it done. So I'm gonna do it tomorrow morning. So that's it. I hope that you enjoyed this vlog. I know it's sort of a different format, but I just wanted to kind of give you a peek of what really goes on in life. Um, big hugs, and I'll see you next time. Bye.